To the U.S. it was Oregon. To the Canadians it was Columbia. Only the Northwest Company of Montreal challenged the U.S. for the West Coast, coming through the Peace River and down to California. Gaelic and French-speaking Catholics founded the Northwest Company. Shareholders lived in the field and married into powerful Native families. They were joined by American loyalists forced north by the Revolution. Alexander Mackenzie of New York, Simon Fraser of Vermont, Peter Skane Ogden of New Jersey, and many others pushed west, including hundreds of loyalist Iroquois from New York. But most were from Quebec. French became the working language of proto-British Columbia. Together, these Nor'westers countered U.S. expansion and made British Columbia possible. While U.S. political culture is linked to farming, Canadian political culture is linked to natural resources, as exemplified by the Northwest Company. It competed with Honorable Hudson Bay Company's legal government and monopoly in the Hudson Bay watershed. Its goods movement to London and back took twice as long as its access to the ocean was through Montreal. But its motivated shareholding traders and their native networks secured through marriage won 80% of the Canadian fur trade. Honorable HBC fought back. It adopted its competitors' methods and after a bitter rivalry, forced it into a merger. Governmental powers were finally extended west. John McLaughlin, the Northwest Company leader who had negotiated the merger, became the first governor of Columbia from the capital he built called Vancouver. Another Nor'wester, James Douglas, became his deputy. Honorable Hudson Bay Company had never had a presence in Columbia. It had been the preserve of the Northwest Company. Even after the merger, all of the leaders of Columbia were Nor'westers. Our distinct West Coast culture is part of their legacy. For almost half a century, the Northwest Company, doing business as Honorable Hudson Bay Company, developed an economically powerful and multicultural society called Columbia. U.S. companies could not compete with its economic power and close relations with Native people. For almost half a century, the people of the Northwest Company animated Columbia under its motto, Perseverance. Despite the takeover by Honorable Company, it maintained its entrepreneurial and multicultural spirit and ensured that a Columbia would survive on the West Coast. British Columbia exists today because of the Northwest Company. Its culture and values continue to permeate the coast even to this day. <laughs>